you felt like that Keith Thurman fight is still a big fight. And then right. we hear what he has to say that he would he'd be down to take that fight in eight months. What do you think of that, bud? Why I gotta why I gotta why we gotta wait so long? Let's go. Let's go. You're crazy. Because he's, so he's probably feeling like I need one fight back, being that I ain't fought since Pacquiao. Let me get that one fight back in and then boom. Oh well, that just shows that he don't believe in himself like you know he need to. Terrence Crawford, he responded to Keith Thurman stating that he's willing to fight him next or not next, but he want to fight him, just not next. He needs a tune-up. Then he want to fight Terrence Crawford, right? Well, I really want to see that fight. You know, I want to see Crawford versus Thurman. I want to see Thurman versus Errol Spence as well. But my whole thing is, what was Keith Thurman waiting on? I mean, he knew the top yeah, welterweights. He I knew felt every- the same way. Yeah, everybody at the welterweight division is a top tier level fighter. This is one of the deepest, if not the deepest division in boxing. So why haven't you yet gotten a tuna fight? I mean, he was supposed to fight Ugas instead of Pacquiao at one point. So why not get a tuna fight in case one of these big names willing to fight you, right? I mean, from Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and Mm -hmm. a lot of people were gunning for him anyway. It ain't like he had trouble finding a big fight. He really wanted Errol, but Errol Spence told him tables turn and he brushed him off. But the point I'm making is that what were you waiting for? You had two and a half years to get a tune up and get plenty of tune ups, not just one, two, three, four. So what's your take on one time stating that he want to fight Crawford, just not next a year from now or eight months, whatever the time span may be. I don't even think he should mention Crawford if he's not ready to fight him next. I don't think he should mention Spence if he's not ready to fight him right then and there. You know, I think he should mention those names after the tune-up fight and after he's actually ready and prepared to fight those guys. And we all know it's going to be great fights no matter who he fights, you know? Right, right. And that's what Terrence Crawford said. He said, why we got to wait? You don't believe in yourself? If you want to fight, why you say... I want to fight, but then, oh, I got to wait. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I felt the same way, too. I'm like, eight months, that's a long time to be waiting for another fight, especially a Keith Thurman and Crawford fight. That could be easily promoted, you know, um, easily made. You know, I don't, I don't understand why he would want to wait so long. And it seemed like every time you see Keithy in the gym, he um, working on stuff. That you don't ever just see him lounging around. Or, you know, not doing anything. He's always working, so. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure he, he wants to tune a fight because uh, he's coming off a huge layoff and a loss to Manny Pacman Pacquiao. But my whole thing is you should have been had that tune-up because he didn't ask for a tune-up when Javante Davis Ooh, a was. When Leonard Ellaby was trying to match them two guys together, he never came out and said that, Javante, I need a tune-up first. He was treating Javante like a tune-up. Now, we know Javante is not a welterweight, so maybe that could be the reason why he was willing to fight Javante right away. But when it comes to Terrence Crawford, like I said before, was he waiting on a motivational speech for him to get up and start training and get a fight? I don't understand. Like I said, I want to see the fight. I want to see Keith Thurman against Errol and Crawford. Like, the buildup is going to be so crazy. But You know what? You know one thing I love about your channel? Who always point out all the facts on how people like it seemed like one minute they had like chair for Crawford and then they come up with some excuse not to give him credit on something. And I love how you show video for video how these people done turn down fights from them. You know, they uh, Jose, my man said Crawford can't stop the overhand right hand to save his life. That's the only reason Porter was hitting him. Well, I say to that is you gotta understand Crawford. He was trying to counter over that right hand. He wanted Sean Porter to throw the overhand right so he could counter him with the left uppercut. And eventually, that's how he knocked him out. So his game plan was to get Sean Porter to throw the overhand right in order to counter it with the left uppercut. And he tried it on a lot of occasions. So he obviously got hit with that punch because Sean Porter was trying to counter Terrence Crawford jab every time he threw it. He was trying to work off Terrence Crawford's jab. So was Terrence Crawford. He was using the jab so he could counter Sean Porter coming in with the overhand right, and he succeeded eventually. So it's all about making adjustments in the sport of boxing.